What would we do without our Keurig? Now I just fix this. And we all know about the K cups. Just wanted to show you a couple things that I did when it wasn't working. You can see, let's see, under here, that sharp silver part right there that puts the hole in the K cup. I did take a toothpick once and stick it in here. And then there is this rubber stopper that hits the top of the cup. You can't see under there. I just took it out. That's what that looks like. Put that back on. So if you'd hear a little motor noise, like you know it's not completing its cycle, uh, what I had to do, and you got to be careful here, is because um, I had to leave it plugged in. Or at first, first try, you just unplug it and tip it upside down in the sink and let the water drain. And uh, if it doesn't, you might have to plug it in, but just watch it there. Um, take this part off first. And the tray, take that out. And then just uh, lean it over the sink. And with it plugged in or without it, I had to try both. And once the hot water came out, then it refilled itself. And then it started working. Um, that's not for every situation. That's the very last thing I did to get this going. Um, but you all know about how to take the K-cup out and get a new one like that but if you have to have that last coffee before, a cup of coffee before you know before you try the other things go ahead that is what has worked for me let's see is there anything else I should tell you Once you had to make sure the time is set or it, it's not stuck on asking for the time. I didn't notice that one time and then I had to go through it until you get these things to, you know, to blink. And, uh, of course, it ain't, it's not going to work without this. Let's try that. See, that's the full cycle right there. But there's a good chance it's going to work this time. But it was working yesterday, and uh, I shut it off. And then first thing today, the same problem. Now, the very first thing I did was the vinegar. You just have a small bottle of vinegar in there to clean it out. But I guess after today that wasn't the case. So we'll do the vinegar and the toothpick first. And then if it still doesn't work, you'll have to drain the machine and, and watch it because the, the water can still get in this electric part too. But... Uh, so you take this off and then you would tilt it that way, you know, away from the electronic part. But even if it's, uh, this gets wet, it has been wet because the buttons would go out for a second. Then it would come back on uh, if you have to have it plugged in. Um, okay, that's uh, what worked for me and hope it... Uh, Works for you. Take care.